pretending to be my hardcore Iron Man in a PvP world. But just before we start, let's do a quick backstory. I have a hardcore Iron Man account which is limited to PvP worlds, and for some reason I placed a bounty on my head worth 100 mil, and ever since this day, people have been trying to hunt me down. I've had a few close calls so far, but just recently I decided to fight back using my pure. Oh my god. Holy Jesus, I got him! <laughs> so it was after this 7 mil PK I decided to make this video, pretending to be my hardcore Iron Man in a PvP world. But before we can make this video, I need to change my in-game name to PvP but hardcore Iron Man. So some items which represents my hardcore Iron Man, the green dragon high chaps, the black unicorn mask and the anti dragon fire shield. As you can see, the names are almost the same. This is gonna be an interesting video. Oh my god, Hardcore Iron Man. Good fight, not in nature. <laughs> Also, the guy who I just killed have been attempting to kill my hardcore Iron Man before. Look how many people who want to take me out. Look how many people who are following me. Smite that. Good fight, oh my god. Everyone wants a piece of me because they don't think I'm gonna attack back, but when I do, I make bank. This is gonna be a good video, 1.6 mil. There was a guy following me, and he knew I was fake news, so I decided to take him out. <coughs> but then someone came and took me out. Yikes. The scariest place to go to as a hardcore Iron Man in a PvP world is Varrock Square. Because it's very likely that as soon as I teleport in, someone is gonna attack me in a tribrid setup. Good fight, sir. Light Ballista PK. 700k? I'm very happy with that. Hey. Something I've noticed in the past month is that every now and then when I teleport to Camelot, people spot me really quickly. So I'm simply gonna run west and hope someone follows me. Ooh, we got one. Ooh, that special attack. 130k kill. Good fight, sir. 200k loot. Not bad. Let's have another walk to the Varrock Square. This lady who's attacking me right now is 8 levels lower than me, but she doesn't care. All she wants is the 150 mil she would get if this was my hard crime, man. Dead. We got him. 100k PK. Level 72 attack me. Ooh, 91. Wait, what? 91 range. <laughs> we got him out. Good fight, sir. We got a few people here who wanted to kill me, so we're gonna loot quick and tab out. Should be dead. Good fight. A 51. Oh my god, that's a big hit. Before I did a name change on my pure, I actually managed to kill some of the people who were trying to do a sneak attack on my hardcore Iron Man. Dead, good fight. 96k. The champion scale have been till this day the most popular spot for PKs to find my hardcore Iron Man at. Which is why I boycotted that teleport. But I managed to kill a few people there. Interesting. 
In most of my hardcore Iron Man videos, I always show when I see someone randomly in a random location and I panic tap. But what I haven't shown you guys yet is when I log into my pure account and run to them and take them out. It's a white dot, but I don't know. Stop splashing, please. Why, are, why am I splashing so much? Why? Oh my god! Oh my- wait, what? Okay, we're gonna grab everything and run. 400 blood runes? Holy sh- 530k. Let's check uh, the dual arena. So, ooh. Someone's on me? Good fun! Oh my god, a 3 HP escape. Oh, I love killing those dual arena campers. I just love it. 250k? Not bad. Let's go to Varrock. Good fight? Good fight, sir. Oh, 73k. Good fight? Good fight, sir. Oh my god, that's a big kill, I think. 270k? I'm friendly. Oh, we got a night nice guy. Holy shit. Oh, come on. PKs have been very good when it comes to camping outside my house portal in Tavoli, which is why I had to go and kill them on my pure before my name change. He's dead. Good fight, sir. I think we had some nature runes as well, but we're gonna say 400k. So I was casually looking at the new area in Zaya called Kebos Lowlands, and I found out that there's PKs around here. So I tried to bait them on my fake hardcore Iron Man account, and let me tell you this, it worked. Good fight, sir. I didn't include the runes, but 300k. Oh, we got him out. I just love killing these dual arena campers. I just love it. There's nothing better than that. 250k? Not bad. For those of you who watched my most recent hard crime and episode, saw how this one guy could have gmailed me out, but instead I survived. And apparently this guy was John. The same John who was trying to chase me down for the entire series, and now I actually managed to find him while pretending to be my hardcore Iron Man. Oh my god. Oh my god. Dragon Claws. Oh my god. Oh my god! <gasps> Holy shit. Oh my god. 90 mil! 90 mil PK! Oh! <laughs> Voice crack. Wow! <laughs> yes. A few moments after getting this kill, John sends me this picture. So basically, if he had opened his bank pin earlier, he could have one ticked the bank everything option, but instead, 90 mil is mine. And after collecting all the important items, the final price check comes to a value of... Wow. 100.7 mil. And with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Make sure to give the video a like if you did enjoy it. Subscribe if you're new. Follow me on Twitter at CEngineerRS. And to end the episode, here are some random people I found while playing my hardcore Iron Man. Enjoy.
Holy shit. Come on, what's this? <gasps> oh, wait, what? What were you doing? 290k? What the fuck just happened? What's that? 300k? Hawk, alright, man. 